definition for a function y equals to f of x, we can define the derivative of the function using the limit of a quotient. The derivative is denoted by f prime. f prime of x is the limit of difference between y values over difference between x values. After simplification, it is h, as h goes to 0. If this limit exists, we say that the function is differential. And it gives us instantaneous rate of change. Let us take a look at one example. In this example, I give you a quadratic function, x squared. And I ask you to find the derivative of the function. By definition, f prime is equal to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h goes to zero. Wherever we see x, we're going to substitute that by x plus h. That's how you end up with x plus h to the second power minus f of x, but f of x is basically x squared divided by h as h goes to zero. Now we need to apply algebra and simplify it as much as we can to find the derivative of this function. Remember the formula from algebra square of binomial sum. It basically says a plus b to the second is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So since on the numerator you have x plus h to the second, a is x and b is h. So basically you have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now let us go back to the derivative. As you remember, f prime is the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. h goes to zero. And since our function is a quadratic function, on the numerator, you have x plus h to the second minus x squared divided by h. h goes to zero. So we're going to write down x plus h in expanded form, which is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. But on the numerator, you also have minus x squared. And then the whole thing is divided by h, and then you're going to find the limit as h goes to 0. So on the numerator, notice that you have x squared minus x squared. These two terms, they get canceled out because they are opposite of each other. f prime of x is the limit of 2xh plus h squared divided by h. Do not cancel out h yet. We need to factor out h. So on the numerator, the first term has h, the second term also has h. We're going to factor out the common factor, which is h. You get the limit of h times 2x plus h divided by h. Now you are allowed to cancel out the common factor, and you're left with the limit of 2x plus h as h goes to 0. But going back to the limit, since it's a linear combination, you are allowed to plug in zero for your h and simplify this expression into 2x plus zero or just 2x. So the derivative of the function is equal to 2x. And here's the summary for you. You have a quadratic function and you want to find the derivative of the function using the limit definition. You plug in x plus h into the function. You get x plus h to the second minus x squared, write x plus h in expanded form, and then simplify because you have opposite terms. Then between these two, you can factor out h, simplify h as well. You end up with 2x plus h as h goes to 0, which is basically 2x.